Marshall Goldsmith. I'm here with my wonderful friend and co-author, Sally Helgeson, World Authority on Women in Leadership. In our new book, How Women Rise, we talk about classic challenges faced by successful leaders, especially women leaders on their journey to the top, and give some ideas that are particularly suited to help women achieve greater levels of power and influence in large organizations. One of my favorite chapters is called Ruminate. Don't ruminate so much. Tell me, what do you mean by ruminate? I love this. Ruminate. Research, neurological research shows that women spend a lot more time ruminating. That is, thinking about things, going over them. What did I say? How did that land? How did he feel? Oh my goodness, Marshall's nodding in a certain way. Does he mm. really mean that? Is his nod stern? Trying to over-interpret the environment and wondering what you would have done differently, mm. beating yourself up for not having handled something like the perfect, wonderful person mm. that you aspire to be, etc. It's a more common thing for women than men. A lot of research showing that. Um, and it's not helpful. I got a question now. Tell, tell everybody, ruminate, where does that term come from? <laughs> I, I like this part of the book. Where does ruminate come from? The term ruminate comes from cows. Cows are known as ruminants. That is because they can only extract protein from the herbs and grasses they eat when they chew it and chew it and chew it before it goes to the first and second stomach. So if you're a ruminant, you can extract a lot of protein by continually chewing, chewing the cud, as we mm. call it. But if you're a human being, chewing over what you think you did, how you could have handled it differently, over how you might have said it differently, you're not going to get any protein out of that. You're going to keep yourself stuck. I love a phrase, rumination <laughs> is for cows, so don't over-ruminate. Yeah.